my credits get questioned all the time. I actually have been in that many Broadway plays. American Theatre Magazine once referred to me as the uh, Samuel L. Jackson of Broadway. Uh -huh. Manny Dominguez was a Broadway star living the dream. After collapsing his personal life, he returned to his hometown of Norwalk, California to start, as he says, a real life. Yes, the Manny Dominguez two-time Tony Award nominee, winner of the uh, New York Desk Critics Award, is back in town. I want to start a real life. So you have a bachelor's degree in theater. Did you attend any graduate school? Oh, I have several honorary doctorates. Hi, sorry I'm late. Not a problem. Uh, do you want something to drink? Um, House White? Uh, two House Whites, please. Gotta really hope the House White is good because this morning my coffee was terrible. Ugh. You like coffee in the morning? Yeah, every day. I love coffee in the morning. <laughs> you know what else I love in the morning? Hmm. Breakfast. Sometimes I'll have that in the evening. <laughs> but then you're not really breaking the fast, right? It's more like breakfast food. <laughs> Crossword puzzles are good in the morning. Showering. I love showering in the morning. Sometimes I shower in the evening, but I'm really more of a morning showerer. Evenings, I'm a bath taker. Um, you can, can't really take a bath in the morning, I think. You know what else is good in the morning? Waking up. Waking up! <laughs> you know what? This date is going great. Yeah. I, I think I can handle a little lunch with my dad. So this is where Dad's keeping all the stuff? Uh-huh. I don't even recognize that house. Is that one of Mom's old journals? I thought mm -hmm. she got rid of those before she died. She missed one. What'd she do? Last night, what I did was probably the most horrible but most beautiful thing. There's pages missing. Oh, you're so great in the kitchen. That's why Mom loved you so much. Why didn't you ask him? Because I know when I stare at that man, he is my father. I know exactly where to keep those pages, too. He's in the back, cleaning out the shed. I'll stand guard. Hurry. It's a traditional Tibetan art world. It's called Sen Mandala. It's a, it's an imagination of a Buddha palace. And this, the design that they are doing, it's called Buddha of Compassion. Design, I mean, it's in a text form, so it's very, very old. So probably like a 800 years old design. These monks, they have to memorize, this, you know, they have to memorize this design, uh, this text first. Then on the text, it will tell you to, you know, to do the line over here, make a circle over here like this. They choose their own color, but you know, if you look at the uh, the sand mandala, and so in the palace there's a four directions. For this sand mandala, it's impermanence. They, this is the main message about impermanence. You know, like uh, whatever you see, it's not gonna be last forever. So, I mean, the main purpose of uh, the monks coming here in the United States, you know, first of course, you know, they want to spread the message of peace and compassion. And secondly, you know, they want to raise some money for the monastery, you know. They want to make uh, a residence for the monks. And he believed that when a child anywhere in America can dream beyond her circumstances and work to realize that dream, it makes all our futures just a little bit brighter. me personally it just it gives me the, a sense of, of of belonging it's a vision that says maybe I never had a chance to get a good education but I want my daughter to go to college maybe I started out working in the fields but someday I'll own my own business maybe I have to make sacrifices but those sacrifices are worth it if it means a better life for my family that's the story of my ancestors, that's the story of your ancestors. <laughs>